Hello everyone, welcome back. Yes, we are finally back in Theme Park Tycoon 2 and I want to build some really cool stuff today. So I know it's been a while, I apologize and all that stuff. I'm sorry, I've been busy. So my plan for today was to build a really, really nice custom food store. Um, and I was going to build it um, down here, but now I've realized there's um, not much room. So I think I'm going to build it in here. Now the question is what to go for. I'm thinking a burger and a hot drinks. So if you didn't know, um, last episode I discussed about this launch track here and I wanted to sort of have it as a sort of large tunnel. So I am going to be building up around this. Um, and what I thought was really cool is if we had some um some stools sort of underneath in the sort of um in the foundation so first of all i want to make a large counter that goes across the front like this then i want to add a cylinder just as a sort of edge of the counter then we need to make sure these things have got some basic walls and they're also going to need a roof something like this now since i want these stools to be integrated into the platform that we're going to be building up here i think it's time we sort of built the base and for that i want to use this mesh roof i want to give it a nice texture maybe something like that that looks really really nice hang on let me see if i can get something a bit darker that that is absolutely perfect for what i wanted okay let's copy this all the way across so now i've got a sort of roof um we can continue working on this i want this front to continue upwards then finish as a nice block underneath there and now the really fun bit that i've been planning i want these to be two massive arches over the top and then we'll continue another arch over here and then another arch over there there we go what do we think of that and then if i put that on the other side that looks really 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 nice now i'm going to cover the edge in this nice cylinder trim and fill in the middle also i want to redo the back by um, extending these so it just looks like we've got these arches there we go that is looking a lot a lot better I think we should put two pillars at either end, just like this, and then add the roof back on. Perfect. Okay, so now what I want to do is add the same sort of style of arches, um, but over here, um, over, the, uh, over the pathway. So first of all, we're going to need the center block, and I'd put it at about that height. And all we need to do is take this cylinder and rotate it around, making a nice archway. There we go, and now I need to just do this on the other side and fill in the space between. All right, now we've got a tunnel on this side. I just need to do it on the other side. This whole thing is really starting to take shape now. Let's continue these pillars upwards and add in a couple of wedges to make it look smoother. I think we need to add more pillars um, where the second arches are. And then I think we should add some sort of crosswork details up the gaps here. And finally, I just need to cover up the holes that were left over. I know I said and finally, but there's one more thing I want to do. And that is add a nice pillar onto the end just to finish that off. There we go. That's a lot better. And of course, just so you guys know, everything that I've been doing over there, I have been doing down here um, just with minor adjustments. Okay, so I think it's finally time to actually start coloring this in and not have it as um, just a single color of blue, even though, um, well, no, it does look pretty bad. Um, so I'm going to go and experiment with a couple of things and I'll be back probably in quite a while because we all know I love to have a mess around with using different colors. Okay, so I've come up with some colors that I'm sort of happy with. No doubt these will definitely, definitely change in the future. I'm sure there'll be a lot of back and forth thing. I wasn't really sure what to do with this color here. I just put it as metal plates. There's a lot of metal plates, um, but I don't mind it. And I think it looks good. If anyone has some like suge proper suggestions on what you maybe thought this would look like before I colored it in. Um, this was the sort of vision I was going for, um, but now it's coloured in. There are obviously loads and loads of details and stuff that we can start adding. So let's get straight into that. First of all, we need to add two ceiling lights into these um, sort of stools. Then I think we should probably add some doors as a way for them to exit the booths. I feel like some connection rings are always needed. Definitely some concrete supports for these pillars. 
and just like any other build in this area, I feel like it needs a network of pipes that is uh, running around the entire build. And of course, the tunnels are going to need a light in them. And I think it'll be really cool if we set these to uh, blinking. Okie dokie. So now I think it is time to work on the upper level. So first of all, I want to construct just a very, very long bar along here and I want this to actually have bits that jut out at the top and the bottom just like that now this of course is going to be colored black however we are of course going to be adding some bolts along the bottom like this and now we can add the vertical pieces that are going to finish off this sort of railing for us I do also want to run a black cylinder along the bottom here. Now I'm going to add another larger sort of steel iron bar along the top here. And of course, just like the other one, this one will need to have the exact same details. And then I'm going to add a couple more vertical beams here and there. And there we go. I decided not to give them bolts in the end because I feel like it looked a little too busy. I did give them like sides, however, which did take me quite a while so um let's uh, move on swiftly before i start to lose my mind so back here this is we're gonna be we're gonna be saving this for another episode um i am s quite quickly running out of time however the one last thing that i want to do today is add a roof onto this section and i actually want to use the same style of roof that we used over here and i actually want this to be sloped a little bit by the way, if you thought I'd forgotten about this end section, don't worry, I have a plan and I think it's gonna look really, really nice. Let's now grab the sort of alternating color of slat and alternate it all the way across this roof. Lovely, now we need to add an edge. And I feel like just copying this one over from the last roof is going to look quite okay. Let's take another one of these black iron bar things, give it the necessary details and then attach it to the roof so it's not floating. And finally, I want to copy this air duct that we made over and uh, place another one on the top of here as I think that will look really, really nice. Now I just need to put on the details and that air duct thing looks really, really nice now. I like the way it comes all the way down here. Um, yes. Um, but anyway, guys, that is all I have time for today. Uh, next episode, we will work on this side because, yes, I know it is utterly atrocious currently. Um, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I will hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.